Hello Sunflowers, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing a grocery shop with me, post-grad grocery haul, living alone edition. Lots of things summed up into one. But today is a beautiful day where I live. It is literally 80 degrees in Missouri in February. So we are eating it up and there is literally nothing more fun for me to do on like a really nice, warm, beautiful day than run errands. You know, it's like cringe every time you go out to your car in between stores. It's just the vibe it's magic i'm living for this is the low tonight like 25 degrees welcome to missouri but we're enjoying today while we have it i have not gone grocery shopping in an embarrassingly long amount of time i went on that trip to florida and then i just didn't go the week after i got back so i have been eating like the most random things and i quite literally have nothing left in my pantry and fridge that's not like expired so i made a list we made a plan lately my way of going about this i really like depending on what grocery store I'm going to, looking up on TikTok, like meal ideas for blank grocery store. Like today, we're going to start off with Trader Joe's. So I looked up like easy Trader Joe's yummy meals. And then I also think we might run to Walmart because there are a few things that I'll need that I don't think Trader Joe's carries. Like I like my creamer to be Chobani, which they don't have. And just like a few different things like that. A few things that would be cheaper to get at Walmart. We'll just do there. So we're having ourselves a whole time, a whole grocery moment. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in literally like maybe more than a month and it's one of my favorite stores to go to which i know it's a grocery store but comment down below if you feel me like it's just fun they always have like good seasonal finds i haven't seen what seasonal stuff they have since valentine's day has ended so i'm excited about it i have my grocery list ish i'm down to be a little more open today usually i try to stick to my list so i don't like overspend but since i literally have nothing if i see something and i'm like i kind of need that we're just gonna grab it so yeah that's the plan but we'll see i'll update y'all when we get into the store also the way that this like st louis parking lot okay it doesn't look busy because i parked like a million miles away but it's still pretty busy for the fact that it's like the middle of the day during the week and it's times like this i'm extra thankfully self-employed because like today for example my plan is to work till like 8 p.m and do the errands like this during the day when the store is not so busy because coming to this pause at night is like a actual nightmare all right, we have arrived. I'm kind of tempted to get flowers because it's just so beautiful out, but I know it's about to be like 20 degrees. All right, should I get some flowers? Y'all, who knew Trader Joe's has cotton candy grapes? These are so yummy, should I get them? This is like my favorite cottage cheese of all time, the Trader Joe's. Look at all these little spreads. I've never noticed these. They have black garlic cream cheese, hot cocoa cream cheese, whipped. So many options. Onion. Okay, I'm in their fun seasonal section. They have pizza party potato chips, which I've never seen here. So this kind of tastes like pizza. Joe-O's, those look really good. Cereal bars, rookie caramel clusters. Also have these whole bacon dark chocolates. I'm tempted to try those. One of my favorite things about Trader Joe's, they have like so many dip options. This is my favorite hummus, the roasted garlic hummus. It's literally delicious. They have so many easy dinners. One of my personal favorites is turkey meatballs with the rice and some sauce. Get some of that. This is where I always get so tempted, but this is like great like after bar snack. They have turkey corn dogs, those look delicious. Mozzarella sticks, the cheese curds are really good. So many things, ratatouille bites. Something to consider is the fact that I came here hungry. All right, besties, you're on the roof of my car right now. I just left Trader Joe's. I think the only thing I didn't get there was creamer and Target is literally like walking distance. So I'm just gonna go get it there. If I needed to get more things, I would go to Walmart because you definitely do save a little bit, especially like in the grocery department by doing that. But I know Target has a Chobani creamer. I spent $119, which honestly, for the amount of food I got, I don't really care about. All right, besties, we have arrived at Target. First thing, I almost forgot I needed cat food. I'm get new bones for my dog to try because he's been eating like everything in sight. Yo, look, they have the Easter stuff out. They have these strawberry whipped creams, lavender lemonade whipped cream. So these little Belgian boys, they're not open, so I can't quite tell what they are. I've had their little puffy pancakes, though, and they're really good. They also have their fun spring cookies out, Lucky Charms cookies. Okay, I'm, of course, getting a few more things than I said. I've been on, like, the beverage TikTok, so I'm getting these to try. Get some of my smoothies. We'll see what else I end up grabbing. Has anybody tried these cute little soda dupes from the target brand like that is such a cute can but i try to drink water when i'm at home but like i'm tempted has anybody tried these alani gummies i didn't know that they did these forgot to get a fun sauce at trader joe's for my meatballs i have some already but i'm just seeing if there's anything else 
I might like to try. I love the sauce section. All right, besties, I just got out to my car from Target. I stayed pretty on track there. Every like random thing I got was something that I genuinely did need. Now, instead of stopping like Chick-fil-A or something, the temptation's there, your girl's so hungry. It is lunchtime. I'm gonna eat some pita and hummus, and then I'm gonna drive home and do a grocery haul, so. I need to pump some AC because my food's been sitting out here for a second. But I just need a quick snack because I feel like otherwise fast food awaits. So let's just eat food that we already already purchased. All right, besties, update. I am home from the store and we have a big old grocery haul to do for y'all. Y'all know the drill storming alley. I to be involved so if you hear noise, it's my cat and my dog. We're gonna start with Trader Joe's. I spent $119, but like I said, I feel like I got stuff to last like two weeks in the water. So I'm feeling really good about that. I got these ghost pepper potato chips because I know I shouldn't shouldn't be eating chips. They're not healthy for you, but I know if I don't buy them, that's the kind of time like I'll be craving something like that and then I'll like go to talk about or something. So I was like, you know what? I love having chips in my sandwiches. That's just how it is. So I'm gonna get some. And then I got some spinach and some baby kale for smoothies and salads. I'm trying to do greens every day and I've been doing a pretty good job at it, except for like last week since I did not go to the store. I got these turkey caramel candy clusters. So I've been seeing them on TikTok and they're like the new special thing right now. So I don't know, not healthy at all, but like I said, I love to have just like a few treats. It keeps me eating at home. All right, next up, I got cut and peeled carrots. I'm gonna try and snack on these more when I'm like, wanting like chips as a snack because sometimes I just need like a little something crunchy and especially when I'm having like salads. I got some mozzarella cheese. I like to get shredded because you can use it for like shredded purposes and like sandwich purposes so it's just easy to get one kind. Spicy Italian chicken sausage. This is such an easy healthy little quick lunch. No stormy. Stay on this side or she's gonna knock y'all down. I'm really excited for this. I always see this as like a hot cat advertiser for people and stuff and I've never tried the chopsticks. I'm gonna try and eat these in the morning because lately I've been just having like coffee or whatever and like just waiting till lunch to eat or waiting till like snack time to eat. And I feel like these would be a good sustainable breakfast to just have right when I get home from the gym. So I got three different flavors. I got the original turkey stick mild. I got the original beef stick mild and I got the jalapeno beef stick medium. So I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know if you guys want like a review on these from a non-sponsored POV because I do feel like a lot of times they work with people. So I kind of wanted to get a little like, you know, opinion by non-sponsored girly. They supposedly are really good for you. So we're down for that. And I love a good beef stick. So I will say, I think those were like a dollar cheaper at Trader Joe's than Target. So that's definitely something to note. So next items, I got some oven roasted turkey breast. I've just been craving like a good panini lately. I love having a warm sandwich, so I got that. And then I got this super chocolatey chocolate chunk cookie dough. I've had the gluten-free version of this and it's so, so yummy, both like cooked and I mean, you're not supposed to eat it raw. I think it says do not eat raw, but it is really, really good. And I'm not gluten-free. So I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that they had a normal version. So I'm gonna try those and see like how they compare and taste. I think the packaging is so cute too. And like one thing about me is packaging will, it'll always get me, it'll always do me. All right, next I got some things for a TikTok recipe I'm gonna try. I got some crunchy chili onion. I got this for a few different things I'm gonna try and make this week. So I'm excited about that. And I also got this, which I've never had before, shaved beef steak. I'm gonna be making some bowls with this. And supposedly it cooks really fast and easy. So excited about that. Just getting like more protein in. It's kind of like my goal right now. All right, so we are getting through this haul. So I'm gonna have to place this bag on the floor. Cherry Joe's bag is like her favorite her favorite thing ever. I love you, baby. All right, next bag, I got some pita chips. These are so, so good. A great thing to have like that and hummus and sandwich, delicious. I got some pita bite crackers. You guys know if I could have like my death row meal, it would literally be these pita bite crackers with cottage cheese. So I got a ton because I'm gonna try and make it two weeks without going to the store with this stuff. It's kind of how we're budgeting it. So it's worth Fingers crossed, hoping for. And then I got some wine. 23 years old, don't worry YouTube. I got this Moscato. It's a low alcohol, great wine. Love to have a bottle of wine on here that I haven't had any for a minute. Then I got some sourdough bread for side sandwiches. I also already have tomato soup that I haven't used yet. And I've been in a like, grilled cheese era. It's like all I've been craving. So got that. I got the soyaki sauce for the recipe with the beef steak. So we'll see. I will do a TikTok if that turns out 
good. Um, mango tidbits, these are used in my morning smoothies with my greens, kale and spinach, and use like a little zero cal, zero sugar juice. And that's my go-to recipe. No, like recommending that, but it tastes so good. I don't know what's in those. Like, I'll show you guys the juices I'm talking about. I've showed you all before. They work so well for smoothies. I don't understand how they can like not have anything in them, but you know. Why do I need to know? Tastes good. I got some shelled edamame. I'm trying to make more like meals with sides and just like, you know, get more into my cooking era as I've been saying this year. And I actually love edamame and I haven't had it in like years. And I feel like I only have it if I'm at like a nice restaurant. So got that. Try to get the shelled one. Turkey meatballs. <laughs> got the niche just being. And I got butter with olive oil. I honestly don't really use butter that much, but I remember because last week I had mac and cheese, I used like the last bit. And so I was like, I feel like that's just something to have on hand. You never know, like a recipe is going to call for that. And then I got a ginormous tub of cottage cheese. It's grilled one thing, it's cottage cheese. And let's see, it has 10% of your daily value of calcium. And okay, I will say if I overeat cottage cheese, because it's like literally my favorite food and I can, you know, have a lot more than I need to be having as a snack, like I could switch my snack to something else with this. But when I have too much of this, it does definitely make me feel kind of like bloated and like swollen. But... I've been reading these studies about how much like more calcium I should be getting and cottage cheese is such an easy way for me to do that because I genuinely love the taste of it. So grab that, got some milk on the topic of calcium. This has 25%. So today I have like a glass of milk, which like basically in my coffee I do, and I have some cottage cheese. Like we're getting there with our calcium needs. And then I have my greens. So yeah, working on that and so I'm integrating. I kind of took a break from cottage cheese because it's literally my favorite food, but like I said, I feel like because it's my favorite, I'll eat it to a point of like feeling like swollen. I don't know. I feel like a normal person's like blizzard, like ice cream is like my cottage cheese. Like I love it on crackers. So yeah, I'm trying to integrate it back in, but like, you know, have like maybe that with some pita and hummus or with some carrots and hummus or something to like not have too much cottage cheese in one sitting. But yeah, here I am feeding the jumbo container because I do know myself. I'm Lizzie Hay. I got two things of rice. I know this is more expensive than just getting rice, but it is so much easier to time dinner when this part of dinner is just thrown in in three minutes. I got a thing of organic brown rice and I got a thing of organic jasmine rice. I got six packs and for honestly most of my meals I'm gonna be prepping this week, they all pretty much go with rice and I'm a big rice girl. So yeah, I figured just stock up on that. You put it in the freezer, not like it's gonna go bad. And then lastly, my little trip to Target. I think I spent $26 there, I got some just for them bones for Ollie. He doesn't really get those that often, but I feel like he's been like chewing stuff up lately. He's two years old, so he's not teething, but I don't know. Thought I would treat him and get some fun bones to try. I got croutons for my daily salads. I don't really have any croutons that I love at Trader Joe's. I got this Hawaiian punch. These are another one of those things that's like, how is there nothing in here? It tastes so good, but whatever. I'm not here to ask questions, but I'm here to enjoy. These are what I was talking about. They have like literally nothing in them, but they're so good. The sparkling waters, raspberry, blackberry. I think I got two of these. Yep, I got two of these because I like to put this in my smoothies for a little extra, a little extra zing. It's so good. All right, and then down to our last bag, y'all. I, I never get this much groceries. Like I never really have options. So this is really exciting. I feel like I'm gonna be in my eating at home era due to this. I got my sweet cream Chobani, if I could recommend one creamer to you. Right now, this is my obsession. So that's what I'm recommending right now. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this. I had so much fun bringing you guys along. It feels like I have a friend to go shopping with. As someone who lives alone, I just have like so much company I find in hanging out with y'all and filming my little daily errands and tasks. I'm gonna put this food away, but I love y'all so much. Let me know what video requests that you have. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video or somewhere else on the internet. I've been really active on TikTok and Instagram lately. So yeah, we will see you then. So kiss.